Were you involved with this murder? Will you be defending the charges, Roger Hutchison? On the advice of my lawyer, I'm saying nothing at this point of time. He was a tough cop who rose through the ranks, only to have a very public fall from grace. Roger Caleb Rogerson started life in the Sydney suburb of Bankstown, joining the police cadets as a teenager. He excelled at a time when organised crime and police corruption flourished in New South Wales. Rogerson was awarded for his policing, rising to the rank of detective. But he was also feared. In 1981, Rogerson made the front pages when he shot dead a young drug dealer, Warren Lanfranchi, in a Sydney laneway. At the time, the victim's girlfriend, Sally Ann Huckstep, claimed he'd been murdered in cold blood. Rogerson countered the shooting was in self-defence. Ms Huckstep made repeated claims of police corruption. She was found murdered in a Centennial Park pond in 1986. Later, Rogerson was charged over the 1984 shooting of Sydney Drug Squad officer Michael Drury, who survived the attempt on his life. Drury claimed Rogerson had unsuccessfully previously tried to bribe him to change his evidence in a drug trafficking trial. Rogerson was eventually acquitted. The once untouchable detective sergeant was dismissed from the police force in 1986 for misconduct. In the 1990s, he spent nearly four years in jail for perverting the course of justice. We got your girlfriend. You might have to charge her if you can't assist us with our inquiry. Rogerson's notoriety grew when he was portrayed as a crooked cop by Richard Roxburgh in the 1995 miniseries Blue Murder. A series so legally fraught it couldn't be shown in New South Wales until five years later. Rogerson tried to use his infamy to his advantage, putting on a stage show with another notorious criminal, Mark Chopper Reed. By the mid-2000s, Rogerson was back in jail, this time for lying to the Police Integrity Commission. His final undoing came in 2016, when he was found guilty of the murder of Sydney man Jamie Gow during a drug deal two years earlier. CCTV showed three men going into a storage unit, but only two walking out. Rogerson died under guard in Sydney's Prince of Wales Hospital. He was 83.